Hi, we're gonna try to learn how to hold a violin in five minutes. Just so you know, learning how to comfortably hold your violin is going to take a bit of time and practice, and if you play violin for a while, you might change how you hold your instrument throughout the years. Also, if you're very young and you're watching this, like you haven't stopped growing yet, the way you hold your violin is going to change when you grow taller, and that's perfectly fine. So I'll show you why holding a violin is so challenging. The violin is supposed to go between the collarbone and the side of the jaw. So I put it on the side of the jaw, and you'll see there's a space about this big between my violin and my collarbone. You might see some violinists raise this shoulder to try to minimize that space. If I turn this way, you'll see that that's very lopsided. There's tension here, and when I play with my left hand, there's gonna be tension here. If this is the first instrument you're trying to learn, you might not realize that playing an instrument is a very physical thing. If you have too much tension while you're playing an instrument, you can actually injure yourself. So we have to be careful, and we wanna learn from the beginning how we can most comfortably hold our instrument, because it's the foundation of everything else that we're going to be doing. So go ahead. Take your instrument, let it rest on your left collarbone. The instrument's not going to be directly in front of you, it's not going to be directly to the side. It'll kind of vary from person to person, but we definitely don't want it to be over here or over here. Somewhere in the middle is comfortable. Now, you'll notice that if you just hold your instrument there, that you need to support it with your left hand. And what we try to do with beginners is get them in a place where they can support the instrument without either of their hands. And the first thing that we recommend is a shoulder rest. This is a Bon Musica shoulder rest. For beginners, I usually recommend the Kuhn shoulder rests. They're about half the price of this one. They're not as adjustable, but they usually provide enough support for beginners that they feel comfortable. The way you put a shoulder rest on is you put the feet of the shoulder rest, which are these, on the left side of your instrument, so that's the side that has the chin rest, and then you take the other feet and you wrap them around the other side, like that. How do you know whether to put your shoulder rest on this way or this way? The shape of the shoulder rest is going to follow the shape of your shoulder. So on my shoulder rest, this is the part that hooks around my shoulder, and this is the part that goes over my collarbone. If I try to put it on the instrument backwards, you'll see that this is going to dig into my collarbone, and this is not going to grip onto my shoulder. So make sure to put your shoulder rest on the right way. So try putting your shoulder rest on. If you don't have a shoulder rest, what you can do is take a sponge and some rubber Band. You put the sponge right here where the shoulder rest would go. These have to be very long, flexible rubber bands. You can attach them right here and around the other side of the instrument, and for some people that'll be enough support for them. Basically all the sponge is doing is adding like this much padding, so maybe if when you put your instrument on your shoulder you only have this much space to fill, a sponge would be reasonable. No matter what kind of shoulder rest you decide to use in the beginning, check for two basic things. Number one is that your left shoulder is not raising to minimize the space between your violin and your shoulder. The second is that you're not moving your head or your neck in order to minimize the space. So to sum up, get some sort of shoulder rest that helps you hold the instrument in a way that you don't have to raise your shoulder or move your neck this way. Once you have your shoulder rest on, this is how I recommend you hold the instrument. You get in a neutral position. Your shoulders are relaxed and level with each other. Then try putting your hands up You'll notice that by doing that, your shoulders automatically do come up a little bit, just in response to the muscles of your arms being moved, but it's not tense. So put your arms up, and grab your instrument with your left hand, look up just a tiny bit, bring your instrument in slightly from above, let the shoulder rest contact your left collarbone, push your instrument in very gently, and then give a little nod. You'll notice if you take your instrument away that your shoulder should not be raised like this. If it's gone from this position to raised, then you're not going to have a comfortable setup. So once again, kind of active shoulders, not raised but active. Looking up slightly, bring the instrument in from above, push in, give a little nod. And it's a very gentle push. If you jam your instrument into your neck, you can actually like choke on your spit. So don't do that. Just a very gentle little push and a nod. And the whole time you're doing this, your left hand can just be gently supporting. Maybe right here would be a nice place to have it. Very secure there. It's not gonna feel comfortable. It might feel very foreign at first, but as long as nothing up here is tense, then that's a really good first start. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can experiment with where the shoulder rest is on your instrument. I have a very unusual violin setup. I put these way at the end here, and that's what's most comfortable for me. 
it's going to vary from person to person. I wish I could just tell people that they need to do something very specific and it'll feel comfortable, but it's something where you're going to have to experiment a bit. And unfortunately for beginners, especially those who are self-teaching, you're not going to really know what comfortable feels like. So I recommend just getting a shoulder rest of some kind, trying it out, see if you can support your instrument without your hands, and then work from there. And over the course of the video series, we're going to check in and make sure that things are comfortable, and we'll talk about setup in more detail. And once we start adding in the left hand, things are going to make more sense. But for now, just practice putting your instrument on your left shoulder, just over and over again, and verify afterwards that your shoulder is still in a good position and that everything's still comfortable. This is something that'll get easier with time. You're not gonna master it in this first lesson. Remember that in these first few lessons, we're just getting acquainted with the violin. It's okay if we don't know and understand everything. Remember to take these lessons at your own pace, and I'll see you at the next lesson when you're ready. Bye.